Starts getting so chipped here. Bit is crawling up. Bit is n boom. Bit go increases size again. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. But just like that, it made three hundred dollars. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that bid to start increasing, holding, and then chasing while increasing. That is very bullish. What's up, traders? Welcome back. In this video, we got another community question for you. This time from Polnek, long-term community member. Do you have a video on the active trader ladder you used to trade? The focus on how I read it and pull information from it. Volume volume, buy, sell movement, how it goes up and down, orders being chipped away, and so on. If you're new to this channel, Polnek was asking this question regarding my day trading Momo portfolio, which we have roughly 8,200 trades and $127,000 profit generated in a bit over two years of trading. Before this, we had the small count challenge. In this portfolio, we focus on trading top gainers, and my average trade duration is quite quick. Here you can see all my trades below two minutes is where I'm making all of my money. So the order order book plays a critical role in maximizing my profits. To answer this question, I'm going to show you guys five live trading examples where I use the order book to identify my entry and exit. The one important lesson I want you guys to walk away with after this video and start thinking about it now is look for the bid to start stacking on the order book and then really chasing up the price. That is what I want you guys to focus on in these live recordings. And that is a really, really bullish sign in what I like to buy and oftentimes like to take profits into that momentum as well. And always remember trading is all just human psychology on a chart. So when you see that bid, think about people interested in buying a stock. And when that stock starts ripping, people start trying to chase it. A good way to visualize this is when you are feeding fish in a pond and first one eats it and then another eats it and then the other ones realize there's some food being handed out here. And then before you know it, all the fish are just jumping and trying to eat and they'll be eating anything even if it's not food. And that's what's really going on in the order book where the bid is just starting to chase and just chase and start buying this stock at any price because they want some of that upside potential. And that's really what we're looking for in the order book. So the first trade, I made about 250 trading LLAP and this was at 7.37 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's go here and the video is already timestamped in the right Right place. And if you want to look at all these trades and the timestamp videos yourself, check out the pinned comment right below this video to the post where I have everything in more detail. So here's LLAP. Let's fast forward this a little hey guys, bit. So I ended up streaming a little bit sooner than I was expecting. I just jumped out of the shower uh, and saw LLAP. AP, hold on. Here we go. We have a nice five minute breakout over here. And then we have the one minute pulling back looking like it's going to be a good entry. Let's jump in this one. Focus nice on that order here. book, how the bid is holding here roughly at 360. God, and that's where I'm accumulating. 60. The bid Good is holding breakout. and stacking. Here it's stacking up. Five minutes, so keep that in mind. Gotta be a little bit careful there because it might. might Notice how it's chasing here a little bit. The buyers are kind of eager, uh, but the bid is stacking again. Now at 42. Kind of so there's that nice little. I'm taking push. some quick profits. Profits here in this area. And All notice right, how the, some again, the bid is stacking. Look at this. It's stacking here and it's chasing up. So the bid is constantly getting higher and higher. That's what we want to look for. Let's see what kind of pullback we get. Anything below 65 to me is a buy. There's a lot of sell volume though. So fast forwarding. Nice. And look at this. Again, nice push. So I took profits a little bit too soon. It's at 70, now it's at 74. So every time the price runs up, the bid goes up and it's stacking. It's constantly growing. That's a really bullish sign. We even have the five minute candle holding this floor. So that's also that's a really a good sign. There's a lot of sell volume here. Five minutes holding the candle really well. The last close. We could get continuation here. Boom, there was a bit of rejection right at the top and then it flushed back down. It's always good to take profits, especially in this market. Also, the volume's not really that great. The first part where that volume was stacking was really, really nice. If you wanna watch more of that video, again, the first pinned comment below this video, you'll get the link to the post. The next trade, QNGY, this was a really, really nice front side. And on this trade was actually at 9.31 a.m. So that was right at the market open, although there was a lot more opportunities on this trade. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Here we go, I'm switching over to this ticker. I'm noticing a breakout on my second screen huge five minute breakout and let's just go back for a second here look how this price just look at that bid just that aggressively chasing zone. and now it's pulling back micro pullback and two dollars the bid is stacking hit it found support right there on that initial pullback let's see if we can get chasing it up again and it's growing the bid is constantly growing that's a really really good sign in this one anything around two anything above two would probably be a good buy small size there at 204 so I'm accumulating above that too, where there's a lot of bid. First 20 second I'm slightly red, but it's a new five minute breakout. We got plenty of time in this five minute candle. Trying to get another fill, a little late there. 
Looking for that extra pop. I think we can see a move into the t I should have been sizing up here. I should have done twice as much share size, but I usually don't like trading right at the market open. Teens. One million shares are being traded. That's very strong. Could see that. 206. Boom. Notice how here's a big fat ask, but watch the bid. It's constantly crawling up. It's holding this area. It's stacking nicely. And look at this. It's over to getting six. closer and closer. It's constantly chipping away at that big ask. So here I actually size in a little bit more. Very smart because we're actually holding the Our support zone really there. nicely. Chipping away here Still again at 206. That's about the third try. This get a little bit hairy. Usually I don't like sticking around this long. Break over 206. Remember, $2 is major resistance. We broke that. On a pretty good volume candle. So see that. Look at that move. But don't. Just like that, we popped up again. The bid is just really aggressive. You could really feel the buyers here. And this time, a lot of orders are going through and we're chipping away that ask. Over 206. Look at that. Huge orders just went through. Away here. Nice. The breakout wasn't as strong, so we chipped through that ask. The breakout wasn't that strong, and this is why I'm getting ready to close. Did not go into the teens like I thought it would, to be honest. Still seeing some resistance here. One more time. You see that ask coming in? There's a move into the teens, possibly. 209. Oh, my lord. All right, I'm profits. Stopping out of this one. Oh, my god. Stop. Driving me insane. So, here I'm a little bit disappointed in how this ticker performed. Oh, sloppy, sloppy. Oh, my god. Come on. Forgot how to use my keyboard. And I also I said I like forgot how to use that. my keyboard because that was a really uh, sloppy exit. Sloppy. But look at that volume here, really nice. You know, the five minute has tons of time left in it. So this is a really good opportunity to be a bit more aggressive. And that ticker just kept on crawling up. So there's really no reason to stop trading this one. And this is a really good ticker to review. So I highly recommend doing so. Next trade, LASE. I'm up at roughly 130 on this one. This was at 9.56 AM. Let's go to that. So right here, we have a big five minute breakout. Now we're having that one minute pullback before big resistance. This looks really good. And that volume is absolutely beautiful on there. And it looks like I'm a little bit daydreaming here. I mean, look at this. I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Just totally daydreaming. Let's keep going. This is a perfect entry right now. Look at that bid holding. Do you see that huge? Let's go back here for a second. Look how big that bid is. So it gets chipped, but then another bid pops up really big. And the ass just totally gets nervous. So I'm just start sizing. I'm like, I like what I see. I should have been doing 4,000 shares here. Looking for that break over 310. Notice how the bid is crawling up again. This is really bullish. Now, it is a first one minute pullback after a five minute breakout. So, this could pull back for two minutes or so. You just don't know. Looking for that move over. But the bid is strong and it just totally chipped away at that ask. So, that's a really good sign. Keeps chipping. Look at how that. Notice how the bid here again, it's stacking and it's crawling higher. So the fish, the feeding frenzy, they're getting more aggressive and they want to watch that breakout. They want it to break out and they want to take part of that upside. Try a few times there, break higher. 309 is a lot of sellers still. So again, pulling back, but boom, there is the breakout. It didn't break out as much as I thought, so I ended up taking some profits there. Boom, there we go. We got the trade we were waiting for. Patient off today. So. Pretty happy that was the trade I was looking for. The next trade I did was on Lucy. This was a really quick pre-market runner and then it died off pretty hard. Uh, just October was full of these tickers that didn't have any sort of continuation. It was very frustrating. So this ticker I traded at 754 and almost 7.55 a.m. So let's go to this ticker. Here we have that initial pullback and now we're crawling higher. Volume's still pretty light, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm thinking wow, about it. That breakout at 2.5. Still we just had a nice breakout. Here we go for the entry. And actually, let's just go back here a second. Notice how the bid is. Look at that. It's stacking and it's crawling higher. So that's always what I'm looking for. So far, none yet. Looking for entry at 69. Didn't get it. Just got a small tap there from entry. Notice how we pulled back to that high bid and I got a little bit of a fill, but I didn't get a full fill. Here we go for another fill, and I should be sizing up right now. I should be going two, three thousand shares minimum. The volume's a little bit light here, making me a little bit cautious. But that pullback was a little bit stronger than I was expecting, so I'm a bit nervous. Notice how that bid held really nicely. Now it's stacking and crawling higher. This is really bullish. I should be long right now, two, three thousand shares. I should have accumulated because I could have been up right now really nicely. I could have been up two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars if I just used the share size I should have used. Look at that. PL, 
$300 in that trade that was less than a minute long. This could have been a $900 trade if I just used 3,000 shares, which I should have done. I'm using way too small share size right now. This was a beautiful rip. The size was a little bit light here, I'm not gonna lie. It ripped up so fast that I didn't even realize it and I had to scroll up. This is why I switched to an active trader chart that was a little bit longer before I had a smaller one and this one's much nicer. So I take my profits. profits there. That was a nice breakout. But look, the bid is still stacking. It's really nice. You see that again? Let's go back here. 28. Some profits there. Pulls back. Nice breakout. 40. Huge percent. And boom, pops. So you always want to look for that bid to be stacking and then crawling higher. That's a really, really good sign. By the way, guys, my favorite part about our trading community is the ability for all of us to learn together. And that's why I'd like to ask, what is the one thing you have noticed in the order book that results in a high likelihood of a breakout and follow through? Post your answer in the comments below and I'll respond with my experience to what you've identified. The last trade I want to review is Peggy. I'm up 315 on this trade alone and this this one was at 7.08 and 20 seconds a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is a really good setup. Five minutes pulling back, we have huge support from the former five minute candle on that floor where it closed. Nine EMA, we have multi-day support and resistance. And you know, this ticker is really ready to run. Volume's a little bit light here, but overall, this is a really good setup. This is pretty much as good as it gets right now. Back we were waiting for. Especially for October. So I start entering here where the bid is, is stacking, 42. I should be getting more aggressive. Boom, you see that? Bid stack, bid popped up, now it's chasing. This is It's that simple, guys. Look for the bid, look for it to stack, and look for it to chase. Now I got at least $2.7,000 uh, shares, but again, way, way too little for this good. This is an A plus setup. I should be doing like 10X size here. The last 300 shares. Bid, watch the bid, watch the bid. I still have an order here, but up. I should. MACD's slightly. MACD strong, but who cares about the MACD right now? The bid is everything. The... Here. Active traders, so all we need to see right now. Before. Look at that. There's an ask, but it starts getting so chipped here. The bid is crawling up. Bid is, boom, bid go increases size again. Look at that. I wouldn't be surprised if you know this one just pushed a little bit boom, more. Boom, boom, boom. And boom. I take profits because this market has zero continuation. So I take there profits quickly, we but just like that, I made $300. Um, I should be closing profits. out the rest of this size. So again, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that bid to start increasing, holding, and then chasing while increasing. That is very bullish. In this market, you wanna take profits quickly. In a hotter market, like especially in 2020 and some of 2021, you wanna actually be part of that bid that stacks a little bit more too. You wanna to size into your winners, you wanna buy higher, you wanna grow that position into a really big position because sizing into winners is how you have really, really big winners and that's why we don't size into losers, we just cut losers. But you wanna size into winners typically. In a slow market like we're in right now, I'm taking profits like you're seeing and every time I don't do that, I end up getting burnt. I end up basically turning a nice winner into a loser or at best a scratch, but that's a whole different conversation. The thing is, even though you know what to look for in the active trader ladder now, you'll still need the right layout. Luckily for you, I have a video explaining how to set up the active trader ladder on TOS just like I do, even with a link where you can import my exact layout. So make sure to watch that video next to really get the results you want.